Little Jebediah. <laughs> I'm still going to call you out for oh. not speaking clearly, dude. Come on. You're at least three. You should be able to speak eloquently at this point, sir. I'm disappointed in you. Um, <laughs> so, Phil, what are you nerding out about right now? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm playing Warcraft again. Uh, I know. I, I you saw that catch or, that the other day, but I caught uh, it. I'm playing a lot of. I'm playing a lot of got, Warcraft, y'all. Like, uh, yeah, the new the expansion. The new expansion came out of the world of Warcraft: The War Within. Um, Chris Metzen is back at Blizzard writing stories. So after a couple year break and a uh, couple meetings in the basement of churches, I am back <laughs> on the sauce, brothers. Hear my good word. Uh, it's good. Um, but I'm also not letting it dominate my life, right? <laughs> it came out a few days before I'm leaving for Dragon Con, which allows me not a lot of time to play Warcraft. Um, I mean, I did play from 10 p.m. until about 1 a.m. last night. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about... Uh, I don't have a lot of time to play because I've got to be packing. I got to get merch set. I got to print signs. I got to make sure Chonky has enough clonopin. I got to make sure all these pieces are coming together, right? Um, so the little time that I have played, I've really enjoyed it so far. Uh, the improvements to the gameplay, uh, because I do play alone, right? I don't have a guild anymore. I don't have friends that still play. It's just me. They've made a lot of upgrades for solo players. So if I want to run a dungeon there's a way to run AI dungeons and they'll just fill out your party with the pieces that are missing, uh, which has been great for me. Uh, the UI updates on like the quest, they can now separate like this is your main quest for the main storyline and then everything else is your side quest. So like if you want to just focus on side quests, you follow that one symbol. If you want to push the story forward, just focus on that. And I've just had a lot of fun with it. And I don't feel like it's at that point yet <laughs> where, you know, I'm calling in sick from Dragon Con <coughs> or work um, <laughs> because I've been up for 12 hours playing. I just also, I, I don't have that lifestyle anymore, right? I got an eight-year-old kid. I've got a job. I got a mortgage. I got car payments. Um, but I am, what I am playing, I am having a lot of fun with it. And I'm excited to see where the story goes. Um, normally, there's like a five-year gap between expansions. And these next three games should be out every year, one, two, three, and just get this huge storyline that they've been building at for 20 years done and then start up with something new, hopefully. So uh, what is old is new again, and your boy's back in the realms. I love how all <laughs> the ads for it are targeted to you. Oh, yeah. Every guy and lady in the ad it's all about return to Warcraft, and it's all 40 plus adults in these ads. It's not kids. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. But, but it always has been like Blizzard, <laughs> like uh, 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 an MMO. If my son doesn't want to play an MMO, like he wants to play Fortnite and Roblox, right? That's okay. If he, so if he they're, they're marketing Minecraft, they know that's basically MMO but, light. But it isn't like these long out storylines, 20 years of lore, books, movies, comics, right? That's too much. I just want to get a, a, a victory royale, the child says. So, like, <laughs> they know what they're doing, right? They, they're marketing to us old people that played it in the 2004 to 2009 time period to come on, come back home. Just come, come back on to back. Azeroth, you know? Give us, give us your credit card information it's, again, please. Well, and then I that's, think... a, that's another thing is that I'm not currently paying for my play time because I have free WoW time. So, like, that's a big also disclaimer that I'm not paying for it. So, like, <laughs> I'm not financially tied to this. You know, the first taste is free. We're free. Let's, uh -huh. let's, bring, let's bring it in and, and just, just talk about it real but, quiet. Don't, but, don't, don't let them know. If y'all need to refer a friend code, I got you because, like, I'll get a mount for it. You know, just come. Oh, I mean, 30 if it gets you something, that 30 day free trial. Out. Come on, baby. You know? uh, uh, I, I, think I tried <laughs> World of Warcraft for maybe about half an hour. Hey, yeah. but I didn't quit because I didn't like it. I quit because I knew I would like it too much and I could not afford those monthly payments to keep playing. And so I was like, nope, this, but so, poor, okay. this poor college student can't afford this. Agreed. 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 And, and, and I did pay my $15 a month every, every month for, for a very long time. But 
in my own point of view, right? If I was paying my $15 a month, it's no different than paying Game Pass, right? Or any other gaming subscription. I just uh, have my focus on sure. one game that I want to play, mm -hmm. right? Fair. So, you know, I don't care to have a, a plethora of games I'm not going to play on Game Pass. Like, even if I was play, paying for Game Pass, there's 80% of that catalog I don't want to play, right? So I'm I'm... I'm playing for what I want. People make fun of me for it. All my friends are busting my chaps about it. But you know what? I'm happy doing it. <laughs> well, there you of go. Of course. Right? That's what all junkies happy. say. <laughs> yeah. You feel like you know, so I, I haven't showered in four days. Uh, you can see my shirt's all gross and stained. But I'm happy, can you, guys. Can Don't you fix that before it. Dragon Con, though? Well, yeah, because my my lap. <laughs> well, I hear you go to cons and you're not supposed to, right? It's like a competition who could go the longest without showering or wearing deodorant i've never been to dragon con i'm just taking guesses here uh, I've never been my but here's another good thing is that i also like with dragon con here i get to step away for a week right and like so my entire guild will be you know pushing max content and, and late game stuff and that's okay with me i don't want to raid i don't want to do dungeons i want to go at it at my own pace do my little side quests and be cool with it so I am and find your own joy. I have, man, I really have. And it feels good to see all these old characters that, you know, uh, they have aged appropriately with the time that the game's been out. So it's like seeing all these old friends, just a lot older and a lot more stressed. And they're not scared to kill off characters that have been around for about 30 to 40 years, even from orcs versus humans, Warcraft two and Warcraft three. So like, it's mm. it's it's been good, and and yeah. Chris Chris Metzen even said like, there has to be a reason that a character dies, and there has to be weight behind it, right? Uh, we don't want to just kill off characters for the heck of it. We're not Marvel. Like we've built these characters for twenty some years. There needs to be some weight when we actually lose them, and we lost a pretty big name. And it's like, oh geez, he's not going to be around because he was our main guy that's around. So now what are they going to do? So this. I'm this Joe's an intervention. So what's really happening, he's just drank way too much of that mushroom tea, and he's just seeing his reflection in a, a dark screen, and it's, oh, my old friends, look at that. The character that died off is his dad, right? <laughs> so, I mean, I'm this is an intervention, buddy. You're not actually turning on the computer. Wow, None of you yeah. are real. You're not real people. <laughs> That's I'm just saying. Um, I, it just never grabbed me. I, like I, said, I, I was so sad when Charles minutes. died in the third act, man. But you know what? We'll get through it. <laughs> He's gone. He Joe, died. what are you nerding out about? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So this past week, in addition to uh, the Magic 2.0 book that I read, I also finished the entire solo leveling manhwa. And... Uh Charles is just like, oh, oh. You because thought now you're ahead, and that's just BS. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I finished I finished is it the manhwa, yes. and it was very good. Um, there were some parts that were like, okay, you're, you're stretching a little bit here. It's a little <laughs> confusing, but um, I think that's more the medium than it was the actual concepts behind it. Um, I suspect that when they, if they get that far in the anime, that it'll, it'll flow a lot better. Cause at least so far with what they did with season one compared to the, the manhwa, um, they did make some changes and I actually like some of the changes that they did. Um, so yeah, like, uh, do you mind if I give you a, for instance, Charles, cause you're probably not going to read it. Oh, I'm not, but they might actually cover it in the anime. As no, no, you it's never not, it's not possible to cover it in the anime, the part that I'm talking about. Um, so you know the scene with the, the prisoners? Where the prisoners go yeah. into the dungeon with him? And and that other character kills the prisoners? Yes. He doesn't kill all the prisoners in this in the series. He only thinks he did. And one of them's still alive. And Jin Wu drags the prisoner to the boss and tosses him to the boss and says, yeah, you haven't paid for your crimes, basically, and has the boss kill the prisoner. 
And so they they took that completely out of the anime, and I think it was a bit a bit much for his character how they were characterizing him. And so I, I definitely understand why they would pull that out. Um, but yeah, so that's just a for instance for one one relatively small change. And they also in the anime they did a, they did a lot more foreshadowing than the manhwa did on stuff to come. Um, and I think they played that really, really well. And they actually added a few scenes that weren't in the manhwa that I, I think they executed quite well as well. So I, I really like the adaptation, and that's what I watched first. And the manhwa was was very good. Very, Can very you good. say manhwa one more time? Manhwa. Thank you. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Nah, probably fine. like manhwa, main way. I don't know. The Korean, the Korean manga. I'm, I'm trying to look it up. M A N W A. That's why I spelled. But uh, it, then it, it, it changed it to manga. And then. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm trying man to Man wall. Man wall. Right? I said man it's wall. A- <laughs> How do you say wah wah? Man wah wah. Man wah wah. Man, I need to go to a wah wah and get myself wah, a wah. hoagie. Yeah, Man, wah, wah. Uh, Charles, you're just making me jealous because you're getting a Wawa near you pretty soon, aren't you? Or I'm something? getting a Wawa near me. Uh, ah. I moved out to Gettysburg to get away from Wawa's. Uh, oh, I mean, to get to get away from Wawa's? You don't oh, like yeah. Wawa? Oh, I love them, brother. Love them too much. I can't get out of a Wawa without spending thirty-five to forty bucks. Like that's how much I love Wawa's. <laughs> like we'll get a large hoagie. We'll get a, a we'll get a sweet peach tea. We'll get a bag of chips. We'll get a stuffed pretzel. We'll get all of this. Right? I love it. And so, like every night, I was just like racking up the empty calories and the 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 expensive Wawa. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> We gotta go. We gotta, we gotta move. I gotta move away. And now they're opening it up. It's gonna be twenty minutes down the road. Can't wait. I, I like Can't Wawa. Wait. Love it. Oh, Hope random, <laughs> random oh. Uh, tangent. Have either of you seen the trailer for the War of of the Rohirrim? No. No. Oh man. Uh, so I don't know if you even know what it is. It's an it's an anime Lord of the Rings. Peter Jackson is involved. It takes place two hundred years before the Hobbit. Uh, it's okay. it, it's looking pretty good. Uh, it's looking pretty good. I showed it to my in laws who love Lord of the Rings, and uh, I'm like, "Would you consider watching this?" I know it's it's animated. They don't really do animated stuff. They're like, "Nope, I would just watch Lord of the Rings." But they said it does look good though. But I was just it. putting it out. Uh, I'm not sure, but I know P- I know Peter Jackson's involved, and the uh, actor Eli Roth, the the, <laughs> the actress <laughs> that. Um, plays Eowyn is in it. Uh, she's a narrator. Um, basically, she's narrating the past events um, for it. So, but yeah, the War of the Rohirrim. Oh, it's, a fi- it's a film. It's not, okay. Yeah, no, it, it's coming out to theaters in December. And for No, I'm sorry. I, I thought it was on a streaming uh, streaming service. No, no, no. Yeah, no, it's coming out to to theater in December. I I... I don't know what it is. I lump Lord of the Rings and that fandom in with Star Wars fandom. It's just generic rehash to me, and I just don't care. You can make it look pretty, but it doesn't do anything. So, so when you say that, do you mean like just the original trilogy is all that you should be consuming and forget everything else? No, even if you go back and look he at that. He doesn't even it, like yeah, the original well, the trilogy. Wow. wow. I mean, I grew up with them. If I were to watch Star Wars, wow. it would be that. But- wow. I mean, the, yeah. The, I mean, it's a movie, but it's a three-part yeah, movie about walking. Art, I got artist. you. Yeah, you no, know, no, I, I hear you. What they've done with both of the properties is, oh, I, I don't know. It feels like nostalgia is yeah. overhyping. But hold on, real quick, real quick, brother, real quick. You haven't you haven't treated yourself to an extended version. Sit down to a back to back to back twelve hour rock block. I think it's the extended version. It's longer than that. You it's don't like, even know what you're missing. <laughs> I, I do. It's a lot of walking and songs that don't mean anything. No, 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 no. Hold and, on. Tom Bombadil's and, not in the movies, any, brother. Anyone who says that it's just a lot of walking, 
that just shows me that you you know I nothing. Can tell, yeah, no, I, can look <laughs> I read the Charles, book. I can, look, I can look at you and tell that cardio is not your thing, but I would sick, say, <laughs> sorry, down. Joe. Thank you for and, and fat shaming me. Coming take, back from the take beach, a take a uh, take a take yourself out. You know, take yourself on a date, big sure. guy. Go out okay. and watch a little Lord of the Rings. I watched. I read the books. I watched the movies. They're pretty. You know, when he kicked that They're helmet, pretty. he actually broke his toe. <laughs> So that screen was real. Stupid. You know that? That's stupid. The obligatory statement. Oh my god. Uh, uh, okay, honestly. I didn't realize. I didn't realize. Well, I mean I mean, are you even a big fantasy? You're not really a big fantasy dude anyway. Right? I would you're, not you're more say of like so. a sci-fi kind of fandom. Yeah, fan okay. Life. I mean if I had to if you know, if I was forced to like find one genre, yeah. I mean sci-fi would would win over pretty much anything, but, Find your but joy, even bud. then, even then, Star Wars is eh. even the original. You're not talking about the original three, are we? I mean, to a point, to a point, wow. the Dude, whole we are on the cusp of Dragon Con. What are you plot. doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, drink your scotched or pepper, bud. I, I'm. Is he really oh. even a nerd? Can he even be part of the nerding no, no, out segment? Yes, yes, because we're not about gatekeeping here. We're about fine, inclusion. Fine, fine, fine. And even our dumbest brothers even, and sisters are allowed Even if at he's the wrong, table. I suppose he can still be at the table. It's a boy. I don't like Star Trek. <laughs> so I know. Star Trek does the same thing. I hate Star it. Star Trek legit loops time stories, like time travel stories throughout every freaking storyline and version that they do that's the, the crux that they walk on and humanity's great and it ain't great so no it's, and, i get yeah. charles i get it because like everyone's like what do you you don't like star trek i was like yeah i know i watched the first season of like the next generation everyone's like that's the worst one i said well then why'd they put it why'd they put it first and they're like well you gotta <laughs> yeah, watch past look, look at star wars they started with number four because they were worried about the first one <laughs> <laughs> it's a great joke. That's good. That's good. Um, oh. But yeah, so I mean, well, then what are you we, nerding out about, Charles? If it's if it's not Lord of the Rings, what are you nerding about? I feel the life change coming, and I don't mean menopause. Before you jump in there, Phil, I can see your face. I can see your face. You're on live camera right this now. Is, I can this see is your a family face. show. I I am yeah. alone at a black is, screen, buddy. But man, so you feel. Uh, you feel the Gandalf character coming to bring you on a, on an adventure in your life? The life not change? at all, not at all. You know, he had he had those eagles the whole time. We could have saved right? all this. Time. Right? <laughs> oh my god! Anyway, it, it's a, it, the timing. You know, he waited over that stupid hill for like three hours while they were dying. Well, you for saw the him to come up to be like, I mean, buddy, hold on, time out, time out, time out. Time out. Yeah, you let like, millions die. You, you, die. you haven't seen it, but. Your argument's not wrong because, like, he did have a wagon full of, of fireworks and a whole lot of sweet leaf with him. And if I have some sweet leaf and some fireworks, I'm going to be delayed as well, no matter where I'm going. Stupid. Uh, man, no, I've been looking at how work and life and everything is piling up. Uh, Phil knows a little bit more about some of what's going on than most people. But even today, I was like, man, I am sitting here. I have been on more shows in the last couple of weeks because of Dragon Con, right? And that's what I love to do, talk to people. And it's opened up doors where I've always been willing to go and talk to people. But you slap the, hey, I'm a Dragon Con spokesperson, and my friends are coming out of the woodwork going, hey, we'd like to have you on the show. I was like, I would have been on the show with you for years, but thank you for having me. And that's, it, the work is is getting smoothed out. I am, you know, evolving is a wrong word for it, but I am becoming a whole 2.0, if you will of just the, the person that that gets to the point gets things as whole people accountable works going up one ems is starting to pick up dragon con is definitely going gangbusters for me so many big things are happening uh and it's key i'm very busy and i'm not stressed at all and that's what i'm talking about being so close is like i have i have hit everybody should in their life i believe hit different areas of your life where man things got tough and then you look back it's like oh that was right before I hit into the next phase of, of what I'm doing, either as a creator, as a, an adult, as a human being, whatever. And we got some some cool conversations planned for Dragon Con, but not even that. Just 
this year alone really landing on be awesome together for the show for the dragon con digital media track uh we we uh, if you followed it through the first part of the year and even last year you where we started it you know ty and i were kind of struggling trying to figure out what it was and then it just hit And when it hit it became exactly what i wanted it to be and here we are i don't know nine years later from my first dragon con or whatever and i sat in the final panel and said hey shouldn't there couldn't there wouldn't you just rather have some kind of place that people can come to you creators can come to you and say hey this is who i am this is what i do i'd like to help work on a panel and oh you discord. mean like a discord yes that you yeah, didn't that, even want to do <laughs> i didn't step on his story so no. he his time out all right but also discord i mean they're they're made for muting they're not made for for communicating they're made for <laughs> that is that is uh phil's way he meets them but the real idea is we had a lot of moves this year like internally on uh, moving around the schedule we since 2019 we have not hit 10 versions of the schedule we dropped version 10 this past weekend you know so we 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 have been building, we've been stabilizing, and it's come together. And that means all I'm really doing is managing the personalities and the content. And Phil, I counted it up the other night. Didn't mean to do it. Just kind of worked out this way. I'm on seven panels this year, which is the most nice. panels I've been on in the last, like, five years. And I'm going to do official Dragon Con stuff at the parade. And... I might be doing some last minute interviews on site. I mean, there's just so much going and it feels like, you know, you think the more it piles on, the more you get stressed. It's just smooth and everything's working out and I'm getting some really big opportunities right now. Like it's a just finely about, aged scotch. Yeah, you go. <laughs> 42 years. That's what we need. But yeah, that's, that's what I'm learning up. And, and I see it in you, Phil. I've seen where you've come from. I've seen the the basement dumpster wait for that hard call days. And I see where you are now and where you are with the show. The show botch has been better than it's ever been. You as a, I saw you jump on the other night and did feel scared stupid. You haven't done that in well over a year. No, it's been a while. It's been a while. And Joe, you know, you've had some stops and starts, but man, when we came together and we landed on the right thing of what wise and nerdy was, and then we spent the better part of a year refining it figuring it out just trying things and now now here we are now i'm gonna tell you i don't know if you've told this story to your wife but she's watching live so you might i'm divorced for, now so you're good you can yeah. do that yeah. you might send your <laughs> wife out for some like cigarettes or something if you don't want to hear the story right now so joe was always kind of re reticent he was hell back i'm the guy's like i'll go to every con i'm doing everything live that is my life i need to make my income i need to support my family doing this why are you squinting? Turn the light off, old man. No, no, no. I'm just, <laughs> I'm listening. All right. And coming out of last year, and we did Dragon Con, and and I told Joe, I was like, hey, man, this is a show. Even though the, the turnout for Dragon Con was lesser than, I would say, but the participa participation was good. We learned things from it. We always learn things from it. But just landing on what we've landed on, I said, Joe this is the show and we came up with uh fatherhood meets fandom and we've really leaned into the, the segments and getting guests on and sometimes so and it's been pretty decent but joe was like yeah i can only do dragon con kelsey won't let me do anything else i can only do dragon con <laughs> and, all right rain man just hey hear me out hear me out. so you know what i did you know what i did kelsey i made it easy it's like I'll find cons in your backyard, buddy, just to see if you're going to go to the next level with me. And he went, oh, sure, I can't say no to a con in my backyard. Doesn't cost me anything. And it killed. To like a room of 10, but it killed. And we made a new friend in Bob Magoo. And Joe comes out of that. We go to dinner and just ideas, just on fire. Now, how many cons are we doing this calendar year, Joe, as wise and nerdy? Mm, four or five i can't remember i believe it's four because we did Chattacon, southern fried gaming dragon con and we've already lined up um conjure uh, i keep calling conjuration it's not conjuration it's uh the one in november i guess uh, is it Potter contraception <laughs> no there's a hole in his cheat don't worry he's got three kids there's gotta be he's a hole got a hole in his 
<laughs> That's the wrong religion. I'm sorry, Kelsey. It's the Turns wrong into religion, you it idiot. Is. It totally is wrong religion. It is conjuration. Um, is it conjuration? Nailed it. Mm-hmm. I call, I, well, I've been calling it something wrong, and I keep having to credit that, but conjuration in October. So, you know, here we are, and Kelsey's right there with you, and she's been watching live, and that, that's what I'm nerding out about right now, that the work we put in has not been something that splits off. The work that we've put in has just gotten bigger and better and more awesome. And that's what I'm excited about now is that no longer am I working with people that will get left behind clearly. Now we don't always go to the same exact place, but you won't get left behind. And I'm working with great people doing great things and it's awesome. So then when do we see a, a, a Kelsey R at a dragon con? Uh, the kids aren't quite old enough for that. You said when they became teenagers, <laughs> None and, of them and teenagers. in Mormon math, in Mormon <laughs> math, Jebediah is like a young adult right now. Come on, yeah, right? he'll be aren't, married aren't off in like a, a couple years. He'll be married right? off, and it, he'll have three he, kids. If he's going to get his magic underwear, he has to go plow the field, right? That's that's the thing. <laughs> Oh man! I love that you just make the Mormon I, sound like hey, the Amish. He it's came my in with the sand. Thing. He came in with the sand, <laughs> and he tried to do it off air, but he forgets. <laughs> I drag everything on air, baby. We do, we do this. Well, um, I'm so happy you missed what Phil and I talked about before you got here. Then <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, oh yeah, Kelsey says I would love to come this year. The Hobbits will be there. No, but, oh, hold on, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Kelsey. This is the second year in the row the Hobbits have shown up. So I'm not saying that they'll come again, but, uh, you know, second breakfast, second con. Off. So I'm sure uh, when the kids are ready or, I mean, you've got grandparents, I guess. I shouldn't guess that. I look, know. look, if you just Kelsey, give them the parents are nearby, look, there you, you go. If you just go to Dollar they couldn't Tree. handle the kids for a weekend. No, 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 no. You just go to Dollar Tree, hang a cross on the door. CPS can't get past that. They won't check on them until you get back from gone. Just leave them at home. Just, is what just I'm take saying. some lamb's blood. You know, it'll yeah. be. Okay. Don't they yeah, have give... like a like? You're allowed to like check your dog or cats over the weekend. Isn't there something you can do that? <laughs> yeah, with take the kids to a kennel. That would be perfect. Right? <laughs> some of those kennels are better than some hotels I've stayed at. I mean, you're not oh, wrong. Man. They're definitely better than some daycares that are out there. Mm-hmm. That's- <laughs> uh, too close to my no. home <laughs> even more the family joe finley the family art came down to atlanta to go to the volunteer appreciation day which is a pretty big day for them because i mean it's three hours two and a half hours ish yeah you know and so they they did this big drop and that's how much more joe has gone from <clears throat> excuse me be, being bought by a show to really bringing his family included. And when you, when I see that, that gets, that does get me super excited. When your family gets involved, you're ready to chase your dreams, whatever your dreams may be. You know, it, it could be a freaking being out performer the rest of your life, whatever. We'll power, we'll power behind. It'd be fine. Uh, but when you get your, my kids, both of my oldest kids are volunteering this year at Dragon Con. Uh, my wife gets a, a I, apparently as a director, I get a plus one. For my spouse so she gets to come for free and take care of the food for us like she does did last year uh no hot dogs phil so you can stay away it's fine i'm gonna bring my own you do that um i got a little so freezer bag full of hot dogs ready to go but you won't even cook them. You just need to no, they're the gonna be bag. yeah they're yeah they're yeah, not gonna be cooked. So gross. So just gross. pocket dogs mm. oh my god uh and and it, it's gonna be another amazing year and that's 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 what I'm nerding out about right now. Roll that dice. Uh, speaking of next year, the imaginary no mom might be coming to Dragon <sighs> Con next year. Okay, we'll make a special we'll panel. T- we'll talk. We'll talk. That happens. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll tell you something once we get off here. Sure, but, fair enough. 